going to be replacing this phone screen. Again, this is the water damage screen. Let's see if I can show you. You can see the spots on there. So it's twofold. I'm going to replace this screen with this new screen. But also, I'm going to see if I can repair this screen. Because I have a, another broken LCD display where I'm going to try to transfer this thin coat on the back, which is, might f fix the little black spots or dark spots. This is the good LCD. This is the bad LCD. So, you can't see this, but the film is dirty. So, I need to take off the film and replace it with a good film. So using a using a flat hook, flathead screwdriver, there's a little indentation over here. You can kind of put the screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, into there, wedge it until this flat panel opens. That's all I did. Hopefully I didn't damage the screen. I probably did, but anyways. Now the panel's open. I can take a look at it. You can see how it's dirty. I'm going to try to clean this part, bottom part, this top part, I don't know, just use this cloth and see if it helps. So all I'm doing is just wiping it like this. Until it's clean. Hopefully, that's all I have to do. I'm going to clean this side now. Just with this cloth. This piece actually comes off, so I'm going to put it back on, and then put it, reassemble everything. Right 
the screen's fixed. I forgot something. But it's fixed now. So no more. That screen. So this is my iPhone 4S after I cleaned the back of the LCD. I don't know what that white thin film was, but I cleaned it off, so now, now the screen works perfectly fine. Well, I got fortunate with this. I was okay with doing this because uh, I had the extra sc screen lying around, so just glad I was able to fix it. So again, this was originally water damaged. There were spots everywhere, so I took off the back metal reflective piece. And after that, there is a it's like a white plastic piece that you could lift off. And then I just covered I just cleaned off the the thin film on the plastic and on the LCD and after that it's working fine. Again, uh, you probably should be careful. I mean, if it's your only screen and it's working, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have a backup screen or a replacement screen. I just did this just for the heck of it to see if it fixed my problem. It actually did, so I was very fortunate. So That's all. It's kind of easy once I got, was able to take up the screen.